Hello everybody. <clears throat> Been a minute since I've done a uh, longer discussion video, so I've decided to do one on a topic near and dear to the hearts of many traditional knife collectors. And it's an issue that we all have to deal with in one way or form or another, and it is called blade rub. <sighs> blade rub. Yep. That nasty, annoying damage to a really nice knife caused by, well, either bad design, carelessness, just simple function and form, or, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll go through all these together and, and you can decide for yourself what, what, the, what causes it. So naturally, like in, in very small knives where there isn't a lot of room for the, the blades together, you're, you're going to have them rub. And especially if you press on them hard to, to pull, out the, uh, pull out the other blade, you're, you're going to get some very, you know, slight blade rub. Can we even see it there? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Just a couple of scratches. Nothing, nothing big, um, surprisingly. And... Uh, you know, for such a tiny knife, they've done a pretty good job. Unlike, oh, I don't know. How about we take this case here in uh, carbon fiber and uh, uh, it's, it's, what do they call it? Fiberglass, but it's actually supposed to be uh, Kevlar or something like that. So this knife has some pretty significant blade rub here on the, uh, on the sheep's foot. Let's see here, and I think, yep, even a little bit there on the, uh, on the clip. So, why is this happening? Well, if you can see here, you can see that these blades are just bent off set. There's no allowance for any movement um, out of the path of the other blades. Unlike, oh, I don't know, let's take this roper, for example. And here, you can see how there's a cutout in the blade and a cutout in this blade that allows both blades to slide past each other with a minimum of blade rub. There may be a little bit, but nothing crazy. Uh, thanks, RJ. Made me think of this uh, today during your live. As a matter of fact, I wanted to use it as an example. Excellent fit and finish and construction. It's a beautiful knife. <clears throat> so, moving back uh, on topic here. Um, so, if they do a cutout like this, which like this... This roper's done, and uh, this boker, well, let's take a look. Well, it looks like it's done it on one of the blades here. Bit a little bit on this one. Unfortunately, even with that little bit, you still get a you get a little hairline of, of blade rub on there. Uh, can't really see it from here. But, regardless, beautiful knife. And they've made the effort of trying to offset the blades. Let's take a look at this Boker uh, Congress. Again, you can see the blades are offset from each other. There's a good one there, a little gap there, a little gap there, a little gap there. And that, even though they're really tight in here, allows them to get in and out with just a minimum of blade rub. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some. And that's just simply because it's so tight in there. And that's acceptable. What's not acceptable is bad design. Or worse, complete carelessness or lack of care look at the cutout here we have a cutout that's on this side and this cutout is on the correct side forcing this blade to rub surprisingly it hasn't rubbed too bad but that may be more of a function there's that little bit of rub right there i don't know if you can see that there we go um maybe more of a function of the blade steel rather than the construction tell you the truth uh being a rough rider who knows um but yeah i mean that's just a complete fail. I mean, that's a lack of effort. Um, and it looks like their clip point was used from another knife as well. So, and I like Rough Rider. I'm not criticizing them, but let's take a look at an old, old timer. Oh, look, perfect layout, perfect layout, centered clip point blade. Beautiful wood here with even some should toyancy, I believe is the word. There we go. And really nice pull. Uh, if you don't have fingernails that you worry about. Anyway, 
a, a beautiful old I old I mean beautiful old old timer yeah a beautiful old old timer well made they took the time and effort to make sure the blades are offset let's take a look at this old imperial again excellent fit and finish good construction and oh look offset blade offset blade offset blade offset blade if you want to look at this one here this is a uh, it's an imperial shred from way back and it is stiff I don't even, what, 2001? No, 20CL, I have no idea what that logo stands for. I'm sure someone in the audience here can tell me, so please let me know. Pretty knife. Coping blade, we've got a sheep's foot, a smaller pin blade or sheep's foot, and it's really just a very well-designed knife. I like it. All right, I'll close you back up without slicing my fingers off. I know that's what you're watching for. You really want to see that, right? I'm teasing. All right, um, here we have a, another Rough Rider. Now, on a knife like this, you really can't avoid blade rub because you have the blades coming together, and yet they've done a fairly good job on this one of minimizing. There's a little bit, I think, right there. Yeah, right there. Um, but in general, of minimizing the, the blade rub on this whittler. And it's a very pretty knife. There we go. Pretty, pretty knife. And let's move on here. <clears throat> here we have another old timer. Again, offset, 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 offset. I don't understand what the problem is, folks. Why is it that Case, and, and Case of all people, is having such a hard time with this? It, it doesn't make sense. So anyway, I've been wanting to do a, a video discussing what, a, what an interesting, <laughs> an interesting coping blade there. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. And one more here. We have an Uncle Henry. And again, offset blades, offset blade, blades, well centered. And I just threw this in here because it's to show you how old uh, wear and tear. This is an old rescue knife from Lord knows where this sucker has been. But yeah, the blades have all been broken off and then sharpened it down. Um, it's seen better days, as you can tell by the inside there. There's a buildup of dirt that's just like notable um let's see what's our case logo some of you guys will be able to tell me what that is having a hard time on that one but what i wanted to point out is look again even back then whenever this came out they were putting these blades in backwards why why, Case? Why are, you, why are you doing that? Why, Rough Rider? Why? It just takes a moment. Anyway. All right. Well, this the video has rambled on long enough. Um, just a couple of my uh, multi-blade traditionals. A couple, a few. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I love them all. Criticisms aside, I, I still carry this one once in a while and use it. It's a beautiful knife. Um, don't carry that one, but <laughs> it would be fun to try. Um, anyway. I hope you all have enjoyed. This has been Patrick, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.